Hello and welcome to Mind's Eye Vision Boards. Now I'm going to show you the process I use to create a vision board painting, which you can then put in a prominent place in the house to help you focus on your goals and to help you achieve them. With me now I have Honey, who's a specialist teacher. Now Honey, we did a vision board painting for you about four years ago now. Can you just describe what effect it had to your life? Well, I mean, first of all, doing the vision board was really enjoyable. We really had a good time doing it, but the way it affected me was that I had something to focus on and something to re take those images and those ideas and the dreams I had and to put them in a place where I focused on it day and night. And I didn't think this, that it would definitely work. It wasn't something I thought this was going to change. But actually, when I look back, those images stayed with me, and maybe it's a self-fulfilling prophecy, but they did happen. They did happen. Yeah, as you know. Yes. Yeah. I do. <laughs> Would you like to share that? Well, I mean, they were based around different ideas. Yeah. So um, if we go back, it. I mean, the vision boards have come out with you to become very sophisticated things, but this was something that came out of love and friendship, mm -hmm. and um, it was a house. I imagined a home. I've got two kids. And um, in the centre I looked at the idea of having a relationship and my children being loved and um, I wanted to begin writing and it wasn't something I saw myself as being able to do at the time but you know later on I we, well, started writing and started a master's course. I remember at the time also you know wanting certain things for my children and certain ideas and those ideas happened. That, that's what was amazing. They all happened. That's great. And anyone who knows me would know they happened. <laughs> so can you explain a little bit how you used your vision boards, just to let people know? Yeah, at the time, I remember I put it up in my room. So where, where I slept, on the opposite wall, um, I, put, I stuck it on the wall. And, you know, I had my desk there. And, you know, every time I'd wake up in the morning, I'd wake up and I'd see the image. And I think, well, that's nice. <laughs> and then I'd go to sleep and I'd go, oh, that's a nice thing to think about. And, and they were just very positive images that I woke up to and went to sleep. Yeah. You know, with and saw. And um, really, I, that, that's how I was using it. I was using it as um, an image I carried with me. And perhaps also I ended up projecting it as well mm -hmm. because it was just some, something that... Um, was a joy to look at. Mm -hmm. It was positive and it was beautiful and yeah, that's how I used it. So did you feel happy when you saw the vision board? Yeah, I mean it, it offered you hope and without it being um, a pressure mm -hmm. because what it became was a really lovely picture. Yes. But that's what it was so it wasn't that I had to think oh no I've got to go out and do this. If at the very least, I'd created a beautiful picture. Yeah. It was my picture, yeah. and um, yeah, and so and that's how I used it. I used it as as art mm. and as something beautiful. But it but it stayed on my wall for over a year. It, you know, for a year I looked at it day and night, mm. and it wasn't until year a while later when we looked back at it, yeah. and I took the picture out and I said to you, Harriet. Look, it <laughs> happened. <laughs> that was such a great I moment. Know. I yeah, that, that was amazing. That was that was really, a, really was amazing. Yeah. Uh, and and that's how I used it. So I didn't use it as a kind of as a bit of magic. No. I didn't think, you know, I'm gonna put, I'm, we're gonna do this, and mm -hmm. I'm gonna put this on my wall, and this is gonna happen. It was it was a process. Mm -hmm. It was, what is it I want out of life? What is it that I think is unachievable? Because if you remember, you put the tagline at the top. Yes. Which said, um, which even till now I'm embarrassed to admit what I wrote because I just thought this is so unachievable. This is never going to happen. And you forced me. You were like, no, <laughs> you have to write this. And so I, I wrote, I wrote the tagline, and I'd look at it all the time. And even then, I thought, I'll just do this to make her happy. I don't, oh. I want this, but I don't believe it's going to happen. But obviously, you knew how much I wanted it. Yeah. And um, yeah, and I just. It was a, it was a what it was like a mantra. Without realizing it, mm. I would look at the words, but I never thought. I never went through this and thought, tomorrow this is going to happen. Mm. I like the process of having channeling my ideas and my thoughts, and also I love art. Yes, so the whole thing true. was yeah. was was enjoyable for me. That's great. Thanks. So it's a wise idea to update your vision board every year or so. So we're going to have another session with Honey now. 
Um, so honey, what, um, what do you hope to achieve from your new vision board? Gosh, that, that is an interesting one because um, the other one was so wonderful and um, what I'm hoping to achieve is actually, it goes back to what I said before, is that process, I'm hoping to work through a process mm -hmm. with you and I'm hoping that while we work through it I'm able to come up with more images and ideas as to what I want to achieve and it's a bit like for me thinking where do I want to be in the next five years, mm -hmm. what is it I want and what I'm hoping is I come up with through our process and through our discussions um, other life goals and ambitions mm -hmm. and I know there's things I want, I know I want to travel, I know there's places I want to see, I know that there's projects I want to work on and I'm looking forward to having those as images mm -hmm. for me to focus on. Um, but I think through our discussion, more is, more is going to come out. Yeah, yeah, I look forward to it. Yeah, <laughs> me too. So now we'll give you a summary of the process of creating a vision board. Firstly, I'll take you through a step-by-step -step process where we will look into all the different aspects of your life and also find out what motivates you. From here, we can look at creating your goals and this is what is going to feature on your vision board painting. Okay, so we've got everything that we need in order to create your vision board painting. Now, the next question I'm going to ask is, what's your interior decor like? What kind of colours do you like? What kind of style of art? Because I can do various different styles. I could do figurative or abstract um, or anything that you really like. Wow, that's a really good question. Because I know I love art mm -hmm. and I suppose I think I like quirky art. Yeah. I like things that are quirky and... Um, I also really love colour, mm. but I love splashes of colour, okay. so I like things to look um, like, um, for colour to kind of stand out because I, I yeah, I mean that, that's how I like things to look. Um, I am, I'm the sort of person who loves most art though, Good. I don't have, <laughs> yeah, I don't have any kind of, I don't look at things and go, oh that's really horrible, you know I love your art. Um, and anyone who sees my home will know I've got lots of it around my house. They just that running joke. But um, I think, I think, yeah, I think quirky, beautiful colour is what I would go for. That's great. I'm not an artist, so I can't really talk about art in that way. But I just know what I'm. No, that's I fine. Like. I just like to know what what you would like to have in your home. Something, yeah. Because it has to be something attractive that you'd want to look at. Absolutely. Yeah. 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 So yeah. it's very useful. Thank you. Yeah. So that's the end of the two hour session. Now I'll go back to the studio and produce the painting. Thank you very much, Annie. In the studio, I'll create a painting on canvas that incorporates all your goals. Once you receive your vision board painting, it's now up to you to make your goals a reality. You can do this by looking at your painting every day for a few minutes and focusing on your aspirations. Imagine you have already accomplished your goals. Try and feel the emotions you would feel if you were living the life of your dreams right now. Lastly, take inspired action. Even if it seems like baby steps towards achieving your goals, it'll take you in the right direction.